Oh, hi there, I'm Tiny Pirate and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies. I have been really loving this game, so I wanted to do a proper conquest campaign. Now that I know a thing or two about it, I have played a little bit uh, before, streamed it, did an episode. I want to do a whole new one uh, now that I know a few things about this. So I've already chosen... Tinyville is going to be our name. I've already chosen what we're going to use, and that is the uh, cheap steel armor, which I think will be very helpful. We're going to have a medium map, medium difficulty, mixed uh, monsters default, slow research and start at tier zero. I want things to take a little bit of time. Don't want to race to the in-game material. I still want my little beginner ships to be useful for a little while. So let's just see what happens, see what map we're going to get. Hopefully get a good position. Oh, that's not... Ugh. Weird, we've got a river right through the middle here. It's not terrible for us. Uh, I'm not going to do... How much does that make? You know, I think a lax police. Oh, that's not too bad. I think we will go medium. I was going to save the cash, but that's really not too bad at all. We have uh, a very small amount of stuff. We have this airship. Oh, let's have a look at it. That's actually not too bad. One, two, three, four, five. That's a. It's quite an expensive starting ship. It's got fire retardant to retardation. It goes up really high. Wow, I actually. I feel pretty lucky. I think this thing could. What What does it have for weapons? Just normal shooter. I I think we could pretty much take these on ourselves just right now. That's brilliant. What I do want to do though is choose research. So. Right at the start here, we don't have much that's particularly useful. And I'm okay with a relatively poor amount of stuff. I'm trying to decide. Bombs right at the start. I think bombs are going to be the most, the most helpful. I also want to... Uh, back to game. I want to design a very simple small starter ship. So I've had a little bit of a fiddle with this already and had some ideas, but the basic idea is going to be um, like a suspendium tank. And from there, I'm trying to remember what I think is going to be most useful. So for propulsion, so that's going to get us up reasonably high. That's obviously not going to stay that way. I quite like having a little bit of propulsion like this. Then I want a cockpit, a berth, I'm just going to check my overlays, looking pretty fine. And I want this to be basically really, really cheap. It's going to give us just enough to distract and annoy the other people. So this goes at the top uh, because of the way its uh, ladders are laid out. It only goes sideways and down. Muskets. <gasps> Oh, that's terrible. Uh, we're going to have it like this. And we need a little bit more crew. Like I was saying, this is going to be just dirt cheap. So, where are you? Oops, come on, crew. We want another berth. We want a wooden supply. Well, a steel supply hatch. What are we looking at here now? Let me have a look at overlays. That's not too bad. So it's got crew, it's got motion, it's got a service ceiling. Uh, can I jam this in a little bit better? Actually, I can if I just move things down a little bit. We want to keep it very nice and compact. So the berth can go there. And then the uh, weapons. So it's a musket. And do we want six of eight? I mean, it's really that's phenomenally cheap. 70 meters service height. It's a little, it's a little risky compared to putting in one more of these. 134, 149 doubling the service height. Well, not quite, but close enough. I think that's actually, that, that is actually a better design. It's going to look a little bit like a bumblebee. I like it. And the muskets are here. 
Do we want to try and jam anything in? No, the crow's nest is 20. That's way too much for what we're doing here. Takes very slow amounts of command. Uh, our steel is half price. So there we go. That slows it. It's actually reasonably quick as well. Service ceiling isn't too bad. Huh, I'm kind of debating. We want to give it a little bit of decoration now. Do we want to give it like a little something, a Kraken figurehead? How, how heavy is that? 30. No, we do not. Uh, I wish these were a little bit lighter. Like it'd be cool to be able to decorate a touch more freely. As it stands, uh, you have to... Um, there you go. We'll put a little light on. Little dingleberries down there, right? So, okay, that's looking that's looking pretty fine. And maybe a forward light. I like it. Okay, so let's paint it up. Uh, second arms color. And with the primary arms color, I want to go down like that. And I think I want to call it the bumblebee. Bumble... B, the bumblebee bumblebee class um, I think it's going to be amazing I actually want to get rid of all of those other ships I, I hate being distracted by stuff so we're going to build at least two of these I think and we've still got leftover cash look we've got piles of money and that's one and I think we can just take on tibia straight away so look at them they're beautiful Let's invade and see what happens. What's the, oh, he's going to come and counter. What is that? I'm just going to cancel that invasion. And then we're going to try and invade this port here. Um, of course, we're not going to do that. He's not going to let us just walk in there. Uh, do I want to build more bumblebees? I think I do. I want at least two more. Yeah, I think we definitely do. Do we? Where do you think you're going? <gasps> you cheek. Is he going to let us get away with that? Oh. Click to intercept. Oh, I could have, suppose I could have taken him with my... Okay, so what has he got? Some kind of rifles as well. So let's put these uh, here and here just to block that route and this one I'm going to put it here so that I can fall on the mountain if I need to and why don't both of actually no why don't you okay you move over this way and flip so if you don't know this is how we go into battle um yeah get under there get under don't just oh gee uh, okay, so why don't you come? You're gonna have to come backwards. Okay, okay. So you guys are now facing a very long cooldown. They're not exactly the fastest in the command space, but they are quick when they need to be. Look at them. Uh, you come down. Are you gonna do it without crashing into the island? I hope. Yes, this is pretty good. I like this. This oh oh oh, you are gonna need to move before this thing falls out of the sky. I like the lights. They're so cute. Definitely looks sort of bumblebee-ish. Uh, what are we doing? Move this. Oh, we can't do anything just yet. You chase it up. We're we're taking out its lift tanks. Uh, flip. Okay, move backwards. Keep keep up and away from it I think all right that was that one dinging oh yeah we've, we've taken damage it's taken damage good he's going down that's pretty much his fleet move uh, this way I want I want you to actually survive so we're gonna move you well away and just let these other guys. I don't want all the modules to get destroyed and make taking on other stuff hard. Come down here. See if you can cause a bit more damage. So you're still going to be taking a lot of hits just because... Yeah, just because the other guy is so, 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 so... Uh, 
so many guns there at the front. You might as well take our aim shots, but we'll get you out of the way first. Alright, come down a bit closer. You're still fine? Good. This is working very well. He's about to pop here, I suspect. And he's kind of a little bit immobile. I don't know why he hasn't turned around, but he hasn't. So you just keep going backwards. Get well out of range. There we go. That's what I want to see. Just come down here. Yes. Perfect. And it should pretty much be GG now. Yeah, don't crash. Where... We've still got these guys shooting out the front this way. Can you go up? Oh, we won. Okay, that's good. You... Uh, select a destination to fly to there. You move to there as well. I should have sent the damage one home, but I think... I think it's decided they're all fine. Good, we can invade easily now. And what are we what are we looking at here? So, hmm, a bunch of guns on one side, not so much on the other. So those can is that one damage or is it just in sunlight? Those can all do that. I think I'm actually broadly okay. You guys are just going to fly this way as fast as you can, and then you're going to flip over here. And you're going to move just along this way. My little bumblebees are beautifully fast. I should have called them glowflies or something, right? Because look at them. They look like we've got little glowy butts there. Okay, so... Uh, you just come down to here. And once you start moving, you come down to here. You come down to here. And you come down to here. Uh, can you get to here usefully? Got a lovely new window. Well, I'm afraid that is just wow. It's a it's a pretty tough fort to be to be frank. I don't know if I'll be able, be able to take it, but there's only one way to find out. Speed things up a little bit. If someone starts taking a lot of damage, we will have to pull out. Alright, we're going to just back this one up a little bit. And bring this one down a little bit. Okay. And this one down a little bit more. Can we even... Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. It's a little bit too close, wasn't it? Are we going to be able to do it? Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh no! Uh, what was I thinking? Uh, that one can't do anything. Oh no! That was... not ideal. I think that's probably our fleet gone. Um... Oh, I don't know! They seem pretty enthusiastic. Oh! We might have done it. I don't know if we'll have lost them. Yeah, oh, we got it! Okay, so the big ship was grounded. We have three small ships, is that correct? We'll do a gentle takeover. Oh no, we did lose three of them. That is a shame. That is a that is a crying shame. So uh, we do need some more bumblebees. Uh, we'll go for like at least two of them. Uh, maybe three. I do want to save up a little bit of cash and I do want to consider defenses around here like well and for starters in here once we've done that gentle takeover um I don't mind leaving them there for now to help with the takeover or to defend that because if we left it they could just take it so I think one more bumblebee is a, a good idea and then as soon as we get some tech which by the by the looks of it will take some time yeah 
uh, by the time we get some tech, we will be able to do a little bit more. But these bubble bees will be good for now. And do we have much in the way of... Wow, you're in a really terrible place. Okay, sit there. Do we have... Oh, we've got nothing else we can build at present. So, what have you got? Again, maybe where you can see. I do feel... Ah, do we need to refit these in some fashion? Um, what about weapons? Ah, grenades are kind of lame. They're not going to do much for us. Uh, yeah, I, I, mm, I don't know. Uh, so I can actually put modules on the bottom, which is quite cute. So maybe just a slight... No, not, not that much of an upgrade. A slight upgrade. So that's muskets, muskets, crew 12 recommended, supply 5.8. Um, I don't know, why can't I remove that? Okay, cool. So I don't think that, like, I think that more muskets are probably not a bad idea. And that's that's confusing to me they don't have uh, sideways okay do something like that uh, command and crew bunk and where are the rest of them barracks are there no actually yeah let's put a barracks in here and a bunk and let's put the musket and a musket flipped really want to make sure this is hardened up recommended crew 13 crew 15 go for a i mean can we put a cockpit on there would that actually work Ugh, not really but if we put him there and him there we could definitely do a cockpit on the top which would help no do a, a crow's nest on the top which would help with the aiming and then we just want the structural piece corridor with ladder and i do want to put in another bunk just for the sake of what, what is that okay so Put that like that. This feels w kind of weird, to be honest. Got a gun at the side, two guns at the side, four on that side, three on the other side. What is that? Repair bay. Do we want to try and jam anything else in? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe the odd little shape and maybe some armor. I think we could probably do some armor. There's a little shape there, and a little shape there, and then some down here. Just because if it's not pretty, what the heck's the point, right? We're playing a, playing a builder game here. So, I kind of would like there to be something meaningful about the about the front here with some kind of armor, but that's not that's just not going to happen. So, let's have a look at the armor it has now steel wall oh was it was it a, a stone wall I think it was so the stone wall is two and three brick wall five and three yeah I mean that's cheap why wouldn't we just do that it's probably not quite as many hit points but it's tough so let's save this design our refit for 93 yeah, I mean, that seems awesome. So let's just refit this for a uh, watchful turret uh, refit. And over here as well. Oh, wow. That thing's massive. Um, well, that thing's massive. Yeah. Open design, watchful turret, open refit. Leave. Okay, so we have four more of these. What we really need is that bomber. 
but I think we're going to be able to do this. That was that was pretty nice and quick. Um, I don't know. I'm going to flee that and move to here. And then we're going to... Oh, we're going to build a building. Yeah, we're going to pop down the old... Uh, that turret. We're going to leave two ships behind. And the rest are going to invade Tibia. We want to capture this whole island. So let's not line up behind the rocks. Let's do three on one side, two on this side. And we want to... Uh, we want to stagger them slightly, that's okay. We'll get them staggered once we are over here. So get three, two, like here. And then get two, two, here. And then we'll arrange them so that we don't um, sort of fall on each other. Because that's a big problem with these ships. As soon as they start taking balloon damage, they just drop out of the sky. And they will destroy everything on the way down, as you saw. So... Staggering them is going to be a little harder. Um, it's not going to be perfect. I, I'm just going to have to kind of just keep a little eye on, on who's taking damage. So this one's taking damage, but that's okay. Oh, this one can come forward a little bit. Oh, this one can come back a little bit, maybe. Yep. Alright, you lot. Come on, you got to do a ton of damage to this thing. How about we rapid fire? Oh, don't know if we've got the ammunition for rapid fire. You two are definitely going down. Yeah, speed up a little bit. Alright, alright. Uh, are you coming next? Who's coming down next? Okay, so we want to back off a little bit. Okay. You're definitely coming down next, I think. I don't know. I think we're doing okay. I mean, there's a... Okay. If you're over here... And you come down... Here... Like, our dudes are still shooting, so... Alright, you go down. And you come over here. I want you to go straight down so you don't take out all our guys on the way down. Like, that's not the end of the world. Uh, is this going to be enough? I don't know. Oh, okay, so you have actually grounded yourself. Fine. Oh, I think we're going to do it. Oh, we are, but I think we may have lost every single one of these ships. No, we're just mobile stations. <laughs> okay. So only one of them, only one of them survived. Uh, well, it's kind of a shame, but they are cheap. All right, so the watchful turret is up. One of these can move to here. I suspect that these guys are going to need something a bit more significant, so our bombers are going to have to... Uh, do some work soon but we can get a bunch of these like let's get five of them queued up and gentle takeover is coming how are we doing compared oh some of these guys are getting big but it's not it's not too bad um wow that thing is uh big what, what was that? Oh, okay, that was that... Yeah, that turret's... Or tower's just fine. So, move to here. There's only one there. Build ship. Another three of them. And you know what? I might bump up our research programs. Yeah, we've got enough money that we can afford to. So how many ships have we got here now? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, what's that? That's my oh, that's my original Bumblebee design. I don't know how I've ended up with one of those. It's kind of terrible, to be frank. Oh no, it's a. Oh, it's a. 
I don't know what it is. I thought it was original Bumblebee, but no, uh, from an earlier playthrough. That's a damaged Bumblebee, so it needs to move home. And this one needs to move here so that I can repair it. And then these guys need to move here as well. And we do need to keep pumping out a couple of ships. Like, otherwise we're just not going to be able to keep up, I think. Like, we're, we're massing. We're masses of bumblebees. And I think we're going to watch this fight in the next episode. I hope you'll join me. I think it's going to be okay. I, I have faith in us. We can do this. Until next time, I've been Tiny Pirate. I hope you've enjoyed this wonderful game of Airships Conquer the Skies. And I hope you'll join me again soon. Good night.